and they'll do a video interview and then they will do um, a photo shoot and then they're going to take us we'll be at the headquarters for about six six hours most of the day oh my and gosh. then saturday is totally free they gave us uh, they're giving us pretty money for that so we can do whatever we want on saturday because they usually have an event they pick you for that you you know but it's like disneyland and or the um universal studios a hockey game which i have no interest in mm -hmm. <laughs> so you can decide one of those events or just take the three hundred dollars so you know what i'm doing yeah, i would take that one <laughs> so on your to-do you need to get a hold of molly and maybe she can set up something so you can go to shaleen's garage See that garage. when you said that yesterday, I was like, "Oh my god!" I was just like, "Die there!" I bet she can get you in at Monica's um, cycle class. Oh, that'd be Monica fun, Grace. Yeah, that would or be fun. She might let you do a workout at her own house. Her what do you think house. about that, Corinne? Definitely. I'm talking to her tomorrow, so I'll put a bug in her ear tomorrow. Okay. All right. Sounds awesome. I know that you're coming out that way because if she doesn't have plans, she'll totally meet up with you. And um, yeah, I think Corinne found out that we're only like 30 minutes away from where she's at. She's in Malibu, right? Huntington Beach. Oh, like, okay. It's not far from Santa Monica because it's not stuff there all the I, time. I used to live out in California, so oh, okay. it, yeah, for eight years. So no, it's not very far. Okay. So yeah, definitely. So it's exciting. Yeah. Oh my god! If you got to go to Shalene's garage, I will die. <laughs> oh my god. I told Corinne that she's my idol. I'll probably just stand there stage fright, not know what to do. I'll be like, when I got to meet her at Summit, I about peed my pants. Like, she's <laughs> like tiny and she's adorable yeah. and she's so nice. And I was like trying to shake her hand and she was like, we don't shake hands, we hug. And I was like, please, okay. <laughs> I'm never letting go. So I'll, be like, I'll be like, I'm that challenger that's crazy about you, okay? Like, stalk you. And <laughs> yeah. I think. I mean, the turbo fire changed my life. I mean, that was a big, that was big. If I'm ever in like a funk, all I got to do is put some Chalene on and I'm like, oh yeah, golden. Like I did yep. Chalene Extreme the other day and I was like, oh my God, I feel like I could like conquer the world now. I just like how she makes you feel amazing and, and you know, and for everybody. If you, Cause trust me at that point in time when I started that, I was, yeah, yeah, yeah I was kind of heavy. And so, I mean, she just makes, really motivates you. Yeah, she does time. for sure. Yeah. So, oh, and I'm going to get a petition going for a new Shalene Extreme. So, Kevin. Oh, awesome. Yeah, Kevin said that Shalene has been up for doing it for a long time, but cor corporate has to give her the go-ahead. So, if we can get a petition going, that would be fabulous. So, we'll maybe I'll mention it while I'm there. Yes. Do it. <laughs> Seriously, yeah. Put a bug in their ear. I will. Um, okay, so we'll get started. Um First of all, shout out to welcome to all the new coaches or previous coaches, discount coaches who've like started running the business. So excited to have you. It's so fun. And then um, Jill, I'm not sure if she's on the phone. I think she usually has to put her daughter down at this time. But if she's on here, shout out to her. She signed three new people last week and she is two emeralds away from Diamond officially. So her hard work is paying off. I'm so excited for her. And um Put on your calendars, Super Saturday is going to be April 2nd or 3rd. It's going to be Saturday or Sunday. I don't think they've, like, narrowed down time or location or any of, like, the dirty details. But that weekend, make sure that you – so it's going to be in Columbus. Oh, sweet. Um, and it'll be either Saturday or Sunday. So depending on the time – um, you definitely, like, husbands are welcome. Brett and I are going to go. Um, I don't think they let kids go to the Columbus Super Saturday – um, no kids, right, Crane? Okay. Yeah. So no kids, but spouses are definitely welcome or any coach prospects are welcome. But, um, I, Brett and I are going to do either a team lunch, dinner, or breakfast, depending on what time the, um, event falls. So depending on what time it is, you know, if it's at like one o'clock again, we'll probably do like a 10 o'clock, like brunch, lunch-ish mm -hmm. type thing, um, before the event starts like close to there. So then that way we can all get together and meet each other. Then we'll go to the event and get some pictures and whatnot. And if your husbands don't want to go to the event, I'm sure there's somewhere that all the husbands can gather elsewhere and go do something. I'm sure non-alcoholic okay. related or any, I'm sure it'll be totally tame. And well, fun. you don't have to worry about Bill because he doesn't drink. Well. <laughs> <laughs> 
he's our DD. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure it'll be totally fine. No, I'm just kidding. Um, but yeah, if they didn't want to go, like, I'm sure they could do something manly ish together. Um, right. And then they do like a live workout afterwards. So you option to stay for that. Um, but definitely mark that on your calendar. You're going to learn a ton of stuff. They'll have all the new releasings for corp from corporate that's coming up. So I know that there's a body beast two in the works. Um, they'll have all the exciting news that's going to happen with summit. So also get on the summit wait list for Nashville. If you're not on it yet, go ahead and get on that. You will get off the wait list. I just got off the wait list for the cruise, but, um, unfortunately that all the cabins that you could take kids with were booked and it was going to cost me like $5,000. Yeah. Cause I was wondering, um, since I'm going to be there and I'm on the wait list, do you think that if I mentioned to it that I would get a ticket? They will probably give you a ticket since you won. Okay. So I wouldn't sweat, sweat it too much. Cause I, okay. when I went to summit, not last year, cause last year I had the baby the year before, right. before that, um, they had the winners up on stage, like the quarter oh, winners in the year. Really? Yeah. That you guys, they came up on stage. So I would assume you would get a ticket. Oh dear God. Yeah. <laughs> they had like huge, like Kaylee was up on this, like huge, I was like, oh my God, that's Kaylee. <laughs> she was like, right. oh, like huge thing. Yeah. It was really cool. Um, yeah. So I bet you'll get to walk on stage. Yeah. That's cool. So I'll be wearing. Um, so definitely get on that wait list in Nashville, which is awesome because we can drive. So I plan on taking like one of those big giant, it's like an excuse to buy a Yeti cooler and do a tax write off for that baby. <laughs> so I'm going to buy like a big Yeti cooler and like pack all my stuff like that. So I don't have to worry about like going out to eat and all that. Mm -hmm. and, um, so I'm going to have some really fun stuff planned for that. Okay. But anyways, I want to dive into, um, some really exciting stuff that I got um, to talk with on corporate for. So right now, as it stands, we are a thousand in the company. So that sounds maybe to some of you like that's not impressive. And then others of us who've been on the team for a while is like really impressive. So um, there's four over 400,000 coaches in Beachbody and we are a thousand right now. So corporate contacted me and now I get to do these corporate calls on Tuesdays at 1230, which is really cool. You get to learn from all kinds of leaders in the organization and they're all like kind of in our area a little bit. Uh, well, I guess not in all of our areas, um, in my area, although I have a lot of areas right now I'm in Pennsylvania, but my actual main area is Springboro. So it's like kind of that like region of Ohio. Um, so that's kind of cool. And, um, so anyways, with that being said, the goal, the goal is like, uh, there were a couple people that we've talked to, like the people who've been on the team, the goal is to be like in the year at 500. Like, I think that would be an incredible accomplishment for all of us. That means like we're growing. Um, it'll open our, open the doors to like more opportunities from corporate, the higher we get, um, they watch, they watch and they pay attention and they give you more information and they help you out a lot more. So all of these systems that we can like Lindsay Matway and the bombshells and all these top down top tank coaches that somehow fall under the magical Lindsay Matway, they're unleashing their systems. And I got one of them today and I'm so excited to share it with you. Um, so if you're new, a couple things that you want to know is tank top of the month club is something that we started, um, started this year. So anytime you hit success club five or 10 and success club is helping three people a month through a challenge pack purchase. So they, um, you help them get signed up with a challenge pack. And then when they purchase the challenge pack, you get two success club points for that. If you sell a Shakeology HD, that's one success club point. So if you do three of those at success club five, the mission is always success club 10. Um, that just gives you a better range of people to help build your team with. So, but if you hit success club five or higher, you get a tank top of the month. Um, I think Corinne's the only one that's got hers in the mail. Like the company I ordered them through were kind of, like I order it and then it's like five days later and then five days later they ship out. So um, they should all start flowing in this week. I got like a laundry list of emails that they were all um, starting to ship out. So um, she got her, she posted a picture. It's really cute. Did you like, did you like it? Was it nice quality? I've never ordered from them before. Yeah, it was really nice. Okay. It was good. It was like a good fit too. Cause you know how sometimes they're like super duper short It actually like yeah. long enough. Okay, good, good. Cause I, I really like the um, company. So I was hoping that everybody liked them. I ordered one for myself, so I should be getting. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I guess I'm going to have one too because I hit success club. Okay. And then after that, we're doing um, personal volume. So every five weeks. So right now we're in week two. So for every five weeks, this next, everybody like nailed the thousand. There's like three people that got up to the thousand. So we like, that. we're not going to like set, you know, keep our standards. Like here, we're just going to keep it higher and higher. Um, so within the five weeks, if you accumulate 1500 personal volume points, that's selling or buying like your own, um, purchases count towards it too, but, um, selling products, you accumulate personal volume. So whenever you get to 1500 in this five weeks, whoever has the most over the 1500 wins a free pair of Nike freeze. Uh, so Megan E won those, um, last time and she said they're really cute so um i tried to get the cheetah ones but they were all sold out but anyway she got the hot pink cheetah ones instead no i tried to get the gray ones i'm sorry so that's kind of some like um new coach stuff that you'll just want to keep in mind fun competition healthy friendly like just kind of trying to keep each other motivated um and then if you're in a, if you're new or kind of new, I suggest you doing Molly's seven day training. And then on Sunday night, following Molly's seven day training from this week or the last two weeks, I want to do like a new coach call on Sunday, just for new coaches that's done the um, training. So write down all of your questions and then I'll have a um, Google doc with all your questions in there and I'll just hammer out all the answers. So that way you get all of your questions answered. You don't have to worry about asking Molly because I know that's super um, scary. And she honestly has like 3000 people on her downline. So come to me with your questions, but if you want to just save them all until Sunday, I'll put them in a document and then we can just go over them all. And then you have a chance to like ask questions and get more personal. It'll be smaller. Everyone's new. So everyone's on the same page. So it won't be weird. Um, and then, so that's going to be on Sundays and I'm going to start doing that every Sunday following the new coach training for whoever's in that from team lift it. I'll, we'll just do, you know, 20 to 30 minutes on a Sunday evening. Um, and we'll just answer those questions. And then what I wanted to really talk to all new coaches and even better in coaches, like forgetting about the white noise in your business and things that you really need to remember is you do not need professional pictures and fancy like banners and these amazing posts like on Photofy and spending like all of this time to make a post, all of these videos and blogs. I want you to forget all about all of that stuff because all of that is, is white noise and you can't really compare yourself to coaches who have been doing this for like a year, two, three years plus that are kind of like reinventing themselves all of the time. All of that is just, not necessary to build your business. So keep it very simple. You know, I just take random pictures of myself or my kids. It doesn't have to be all of this fancy nonsense. And I don't want you spending five or four minutes putting together a photo of my picture. Like that's just a waste of time. Um, you don't need a ton of filters and texts and all of that stuff to get your point across. So, um, really keep it simple. Don't worry about blogs. Don't worry about anybody, but how you, the kind of people that you want to attract. And I really, really wish somebody would have told me that when I started out, because I was like, I mean, I, up until probably the last year I've been everywhere and wasting so much time when I really should have just been doing my three to five behaviors and, you know, sticking to my power hour. So Brittany, yeah. I have a question. Real quick. Yeah. Yeah. So with the, the videos, we shouldn't be posting? No, yeah. no, no. I'm not saying you shouldn't. I'm just saying as like new coaches, like if that's taking okay. a lot of your time and you're not being able to do like the basics, oh, don't yeah. worry about it. Like, okay. you know what I mean? Like, yeah, no, it's definitely not bad. It's definitely not bad. Like if you have, okay. time, definitely go after it. Like, okay. I think they're great. I think your videos are great and Jill's and Amanda's and I think they're all perfect. I just don't want anybody spending so much time doing that and thinking that that's going to bring people to you. What brings people to you is inviting people. Mm -hmm. Um, the fancy posts, like, you know, I'll like have made like killer posts and I'm like, no one messaged me cause they're just not going to. So, um, that's kind of the key is you have to personally message people and invite them and, you know, share your excitement because it works and we have fun and we enjoy this. So there's no reason not to like share it with other people. And then, um, I learned from the Bonnie Engel call, 
which I'm not sure if anybody has listened to it yet, but really write this down and make sure you listen to the national wake up call. Also new coaches, you can listen to all the national wake up calls. Um, and they are on the beach body podcast on the iPhone. I don't know what Android's have. I'm sorry whatever they have to listen to, but it's a podcast and you can listen to all the national wake up calls and they're every Monday at 11 Eastern standard time. So the Bonnie Ingle one, I want everybody to write down to listen to. So she is so super cute and she makes the business look super easy and flawless. It's not. So don't think that um, it's like going to happen that fast for you. I mean, it could, I hope it does, but um, don't get disappointed if it doesn't. But what I my biggest takeaway from that was every single day she talks about the opportunity through her Facebook post, like at least once, like through Facebook, her personal page, her like page and her Instagram page. And I really wish I would have done this from the beginning, like three years ago, just been more open about talking about the opportunity because it has truly like affected our, you know, my personal life and our family life so much that I really think that people would benefit from this. And I think, oh my gosh, people sell stickers to wear on their body, that weird thrive thing. And like people actually sign up to do that. People actually sign up to wear these weird wraps on their body and their face. If people <laughs> sign up to do crazy stuff like that, like why wouldn't they want to do this where you can right. somebody a workout program, nutrition, support, and it's healthy for you. You're not damaging your body. Um, you can involve your family. You know, that's like the number one selling point for me from Beachbody. I looked into a ton of network marketing companies when I knew I was pregnant because I knew I did not want to um, take my kids to a babysitter, but I knew I wanted money. Um, so the biggest turnoff for me was home parties, those weird groups where they add like every single one of their friends on Facebook and those weird events that you get added to. And now they can just like claim that you're going even if you don't click going. So like, I was added to 17 events this week that I didn't even click going to. So like, why would anybody want to do that when they can do this? And it's so not icky and spammy. So definitely talk about it and talk, even if you're a new coach, I think you should just start practicing this and putting this into play. Like even if it hasn't all fallen into place, but you can it's like helping you, like you can do this with your husband. Like, I love that you can take your family to events. Like, I think it's so cool. You know, sometimes you can't partner up with some of these companies and it's only like girls night. And you know, like I don't, we don't really like do that in our relationship. Um, so like to me being able to take, like, I don't really care about leaving my kids back, but um, being able to take like Brett with me, um, uh, and like spending quality time with him is like what really like drives me for this business. I think really cool about it is that it's all like marriage related and like family oriented, not so much like keep them away so we can all do this. So really like talk, because that's what sold me. And if somebody would have talked about Beachbody like that, I would have signed up a long time ago, but that's just not the part that I was hearing. So however it benefits you and what attracted you to the business is what you should share with people because there is somebody out there just like you. So definitely start practicing that like once a day. And then another thing that I took away from the um, corporate call is to really start utilizing your personal Facebook page more. So um, those of you who've like been with me for a while know that I like, don't do that, but I'm starting to, and it's really uncomfortable and weird, but I'm doing it anyways. But everybody says, now you can't sell on your personal page. So you have to be really careful. You can't say like, buy this from me or, or Facebook will ban, ban you. You can talk about like joining your boot camps and stuff like that, but you just can't be stale when you do it, which is a good thing because you don't want to scare people away. But like, you know, me and the kids went grocery shopping the other day. So I've like snapped a picture of the kids grocery shopping. And then I put under there like, you know, putting together some awesome new recipes for boot camp. And then they were like, you know, you do that and then you go through and what you do is you like, so if I did that on, let's just use the example of Monday. So Monday I take like two or three pictures and I post them on my personal page on Facebook and somehow or another they're related to Beachbody or my boot in my boot camp. So on Tuesday for my power hour, what I'll do is I'll click like who liked those pictures and who commented. And those are the people that I'm going to cold script like that I'm going to message because clearly maybe they think the picture of my kids is cute, but maybe they're also interested in what I'm talking about and maybe they want to join me. So I, I know that they're watching me and then clearly, you know, like we like family members and stuff like that. You'll 
you know, filter out, you'll be able to filter who is probably interested in who's just like liking your page. But that's kind of how you build your people on who to invite without it being weird. And you're just sending out weird messages to people that you don't know like a lot about, but that's also putting out there that people know what you're doing. They know what you're about. So then when you message them, it's not weird. And I always, people are always like, well, it's weird for me to say stuff. It's never really been weird for me because mo I would say 80% of my friends and family know that like fitness and health is my world. So it's not, it's not even weird. Like when people get messages from me, it's never like awkward. They know exactly where I'm coming from. And it's just a never, it's, it's never really awkward. So the more you post about your health and fitness, the less awkward people it's going to be when you message people. So um, that's what I wanted to talk to you about was the super exciting system that I have. So we're going to start doing the power hour. You do the power hour five days a week at minimum You can do it in an hour. Now I, you can chop it up or you, I like doing it in an hour because I just stay focused and I set my timer and I'm like, okay, five to six minutes for invites, five to six minutes for follow-ups, five to six minutes for, you know, adding to my network, reading a little bit of personal development, and I can get it all done while either the kids are A, sleeping in the morning, or B, taking a nap. And then if I have extra time throughout the day, that's when I will blog post or, you know, maybe take some videos, put together a free group or something like that. But until my power hour is done, I do nothing else with my business throughout the day. So um, I'm going to do a little screen share. I started a Google Doc for our... Um, for our team, so I'm going to put that in the uh, team page. Hold on. Where is my Google Drive? Okay, so I'm going to put the Google Drive. I've got a new folder open for Team Lift Fit, and in this drive, we have the Team Lift Fit Power Hour Rundown. So you're going to click on this. And this is golden. This is how you're going to run your entire business every single day. So here is the cold, cold invite script. Or you can, you know, reword it a little bit. But all you have to do, you're going to, so you come to your computer or your phone or iPad or whatever you're using to work and you open up your Facebook Messenger and your, you know, Instagram Instagram phone when it's time to do Instagram invites and you just copy and paste this baby to five to 10 people. Now, if you want to slowly build your business and maybe get like one or two clients a month, you'll message one or two people a day. If you want to make some money with the business, get your Shakeology paid for and get some re um, income rolling in with rollover Shakeology commission, you're going to message three to five people a day. If you want to power charge your business and really get yourself up to like three to $500 a week within three to six months, you're going to message 10 people a day. So that's just how I look at the business. Um, that's following like the rule, the 10 times rule. Um, that's a great book to read by the way. Um, add that to your personal development as long as well as the school of greatness. That's going to teach you kind of these tricks on how to either just stay steady or really like go forward with the business. So in this document for the power hour rundown, it's your whole entire, your whole entire business hour. So here's your script. Then yes, I would love some details. Great. What's your email? They give you your email. So you want to convert them over to email because it's easier to keep them tracked because then you can do like a Google sheet or put it in Evernote or something like that and track who they are and what their email is on your contact list. It's just easier to keep people organized through email than it is through messenger because once you get so many messages, it's going to start deleting people. And that's the problem that I ran into is I was like going to go back to my follow-ups and all my conversations were gone. So if you can keep it in email, then you can go back and, you know, revisit their goals and who they are. So I like to put everybody towards email and then it was really nice to kind of get that reassurance from corporate that this is what they do. So from here, I always kind of promote the um, 20 day, 21 day fix because um, it's easy. I shouldn't say it's easy, but um, it's quick, quicker results. I love the portion containers. Um, people like it. It's a great beginner program. If people are used to doing like excessive cardio, never have done weights, want a female to follow. I just think it's a really good starter program. Plus it's always usually on sale. So um, you're going to have the 21 day fix email. So once they give you their email, I have personally found that I don't lose as many people in the noise 
if I send them a full email of a breakdown. So this is gonna be like about the challenge. You can personalize this and change it if you want, or you can just copy and paste it. Nutrition, accountability, you're upfront about the Shakeology. Um, we've got some Shakeology videos. You've got all of the ingredients in case someone's pregnant or nursing and are you know asking you a ton of different questions. There's the ingredients, check with your pediatrician. Um, requirements that are involved, your Shakeology choices, and the cost. So I used to follow this whole like form thing and we would go back and forth and back and forth and then it gets super, super, super awkward. And then you'd have to tell them the cost and then you would lose them. And then I would just lose people all together. This way they have the prize. They know what all it entails. If they're not, ready, at least they know. So when they come back, they are ready. And that's where I've come to doing these emails with is that people are just ready to commit and I don't have to go, you know, through the whole thing. They're just like, I'm ready. Let's do it. How do I sign up? So you can copy and paste that from your email. This is also in the drive. And then from there, you're going to go back to Facebook Messenger. And then you're going to say email sent. Are there specific fitness goals you're trying to accomplish right now? Then you can keep the conversation going. That's when you can go into form and you can really start forming those relationships and be a human being and not be a robot. So they'll get their... Um, you know, and then you're honest, like the email is going to take you about 10 minutes to read through. Let me know if you have any questions or how I can help. Let's get on the phone and chat, whatever. Then this also goes from there. It's going to go into your follow-ups like 24 hours after you're, the initial email, you're going to follow up. How does it all make sense? What questions do you have? And then 72 hours, our next challenge starts at this date. Want to make sure we connect. So we have, I can answer any questions for you. And then the third follow-up and then, um, you know, it's got this great, hey, I'm sensing a bit of hesitation on the challenge group. You know, is there anything, is there ways to modify it to fit your needs better? And if not, no pressure, that's totally fine. Is there a time we can, could chat over the next few days? So then you can also, um, if you're on the phone with them, you can do the Coach Mobile app when you're completing your enrollment, I want to make sure I'm on my phone or my computer so I can help answer any questions you have. So that way you know that they're enrolling at that moment. Um, then we have price objection scripts. So on here, you can go to this price objections and you can, there are scripts for every price objection. So I've got all of this in the drive as well. So every, I mean, there's literally no excuse not to be able to do your power hour and get all of these conversations done. And then here's a script for if someone didn't see your last message and did not respond, here's a little script to say to them. And then the description of a coach versus a customer. So there are two options of enrollment and the section, second option doesn't make a ton of sense, but here they are. And then, um, you have this option as well because you always, you know, want to try to get them to be a discount coach so you can rank advance and you can start building that team volume to really unlock your compensation plan. And then here is a YouTube video on how to add to your network. So this is the power hour rundown and then the cold call script in here, your price objections and a separate thing that you can pull up the email so you can change that for any program and then i also did a power hour tracker so you could print these out for you know every single day of the week and add your people to it and date it so i do five invites to a challenge group on facebook five on instagram and then five, three to five coach conversations a day on facebook and instagram i add five new friends on facebook i follow four new people on instagram a day and i do this all in my power hour and what you do there is you will go to Instagram and you will follow four new people. With those four new people, each person you will like four photos on that new person's page. You will comment on one photo and you will ask a question on another. So be very genuine or they're not going to follow you back. Like, oh my gosh, I love your tank top. Where did, where did you get it? Or, oh my gosh, your little girl's so cute. Mine's teething. Is yours teething also? Like, I don't know, make some kind of conversation, but make it genuine. And then, um, with that being said too, like on the coach conversations and the Instagram and stuff and adding people, you want to kind of scope them out. Like I scope people out. I do not ask people to join the team that I aren't, don't think that I would work well with or that, um, 
you know, I, I do want to genuinely make sure I want to work with them and that I think that they would be a good match for our specific team because we have such a beautiful thing going. So I don't want to ruin it by, you know, getting some bad seeds in the business. So here is your power hour drive and run down. That's, I'm going to post that in the group. So I hope that really helps, especially for new coaches. It's going to show you exactly what to do every single day. You're going to have a script for everything. All you have to do is copy and paste. It's so easy. So um, it's nine o'clock right now, but I wanted to show you one more thing. On, I didn't realize not everybody knew how to do this the other day. So does everybody know how to message on Instagram, like send a personal message? Corinne just told, told me how to do it. Okay, good. So when you go to your homepage, like your actual, like the feed, there is this like little box up at the top and you can either click that and then click the plus sign and then enter. So like there's a box up here. You can click that, click a plus sign and then enter their screen name or Instagram better than me. <laughs> Or Go talk to me about health, nursing, the body. I'm good. Technology. Or like so. So Sam, like at Corinne's page right here, she has like it has three dots at the top of her page. You can also click that and push send message, and then you can send a message. So it's super easy. But that's how you send messages on Facebook or on Instagram. I'm sorry. Before we get off here, does anybody have any questions? I know that was like information overload, but I really hope the drive really starts um, helping people know what to say, how to say it, how to follow up. Um, I wanted to touch base really quick on um, goals. So I've been reading that new book, the, the time, the 10 times rule. I always say it wrong, the 10 times rule. Anyways, so it was talking about not making your goals like super, super unreachable to where it's like, not even going to be attainable and then you're disappointed but making them not so like success club five is like er, that's an easy goal that's three people a month you need to make your you like goal success club 10 and then if you hit success club five you're okay with it but you're you know you you want to hit something that's going to push yourself a little bit so like amanda has a really big goal she's going to go emerald by friday so like, don't say like, I'm a new coach and I'm going to go diamond in 30 days. Now I can't, I'm not saying that yeah. it can't be done, yeah. but I'm just saying that it's a little bit more difficult like to do that. So like, if I were a new coach, I would be like, okay, I'm going to go emerald within my first month. Within my second month, I'm going to have, um, four coaches. And within my third month, I'm going to shoot for diamond. So that would be eight coaches. So that those are like quarterly goals. So I want you to set up like a weekly goal and a monthly goal and a quarterly goal versus like trying to like make this crazy end of the year goal because then you're not staying focused and on track. And I learned that from the Brittany Leggett national wake up call, which was a really good one. I haven't listened to this Mondays um, yet, but definitely make sure that you listen to that and listen to the national wake up call every week and do your personal development every Mommy. week and do your power hour at least Mommy. five days a week. Mommy. I think so. Okay. Um, so does anybody have any questions before we get off here? How do you approach people on Instagram that you want to do the coaching opportunity? That's been a little bit weird for me. Um, I won't lie since I've been doing it because it's like awkward to just like, hey, have you thought it? like I feel like they can't get spammy. Like Instagram is like a whole new world versus Facebook. I've been kind of like, Hey, have you ever considered doing this? What? And they were to like big name accounts and it didn't go anywhere for me. But what I've been doing is, um, forming, like messaging them. Like there's this one chick who is like crazy bill and her and her husband are really into fitness. So, um, I've been just messaging her and talking to her and trying to um, like like all of her posts and comment and try to get her to see my page. I know she wouldn't be interested in joining one of my challenge groups. I just already know that. But I'm hoping that maybe she'll see me talk about like the business opportunity and then like want to just join. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. But other than that, I've just been messaging people about challenge groups. And then if once I start talking to them, if I really like them and I think that they would not only be good in my challenge group, but also be good match for the team, 
I might throw it in there. But I've been getting people from Instagram on the phone a lot because I feel like I can connect with them a lot better. Oh, really? Mm hmm. Okay. And I don't know. I mean, this is kind of ballsy, but somebody, one of the corporate people told me to do it. Like I always say that like the results are guaranteed and the system is proven. So I said that in three posts over the last three days and I've gotten four people from Instagram, um, inquiring. And then I had two people from Facebook today asking me and they're like, well, I don't understand how you can prove how the results are guaranteed. I was like, well, I guarantee it. Like I did it. So I can like back, back myself up. Plus a whole entire team of 200 people who do it as well. Like, and I call the team like clients. So like hundreds of my clients and then I show them pictures. <laughs> like I just like, you know, was like, okay, well look, here's a picture of Jill and here's a picture of Corinne and here's a picture of Brittany Nobel. And I was like, I, I got more if you want to see more. Mm -hmm. And, um, I, I've got two people that are supposed to be signing up for challenge packs tonight. So, um, I said proof results are proven and because I think it's, I mean, it is guaranteed. Look at all of us. It's true. So I just, you know, I mean, definitely like shoot some pictures of the team members or other people that have posted. I'm always kind of weird about sharing pictures of challengers unless I like definitely have their permission. So say it, try saying it. It works for me. I'm going to keep saying it. <laughs> Oh my gosh. So does anybody else have any quite other questions before we wrap this up? All right. Perfect. So I'll post the drive in the group and then Sunday we'll do a new coach call. I'm not sure of the time yet because we will probably be in Ohio. So I'm not sure yet. Um, but I'll let you guys know this weekend. And then, um, Tuesdays, our new coach calls are not new coach calls, but team calls at eight 30 and then um, national wake-up calls are Mondays at 11. Other than that, I hope you guys have a good evening. And I did record this, but I won't probably be recording anymore because my memory on my computer is um, getting full by the day. So make sure you just get on the calls. Sorry, I do have a question. Okay, go ahead. You said the Super Saturday was in Columbus, but I didn't catch the date. It's April 2nd or April 3rd, depending. They haven't like narrowed down a time, date or time yet, but it'll be that weekend. Okay. Yeah. So put that on your calendar. And I got to put Joe Dirt to bed. I, like, I call this her Joe Dirt outfit. <laughs> <laughs> Always wears a vest with nothing underneath. <laughs> she kind of has a mullet. <laughs> it's super cute. Though. <laughs> All right. Well, I will see you guys next week. Bye. All right. Bye. 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 Bye.